Welcome back to Irvine, California for your Saints Insider 2-Minute Drill. I'm Luke Johnson, joined today by Matthew Paris. Matt, uh, actually the news started before we even came out today. Uh, Pete Warner signed a three-year contract extension with the team. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I thought it was a deal that made sense for both sides. I, you know, it pays Pete Warner top of the line linebacker money or middle of the pack. And this is a deal to lock a good young player under a contract for the Saints. Three years, very manageable. Uh, but I, I think it's also a reflection partly of the training camp that he's had. He's come in really good shape has kind of responded to the challenges that the Saints have provided by signing Willie Gay, some competition for him. But he, he's had a really good camp before getting hurt here a few days ago. Yeah, young players, young productive players are in short supply for the Saints team, so it makes sense to lock them up. All right, getting into what we saw at practice today, uh, a lot of competitive stuff, kind of a shorter practice, just chock full of, of team drills. So, look, I, I think the two-minute stuff is kind of where we have to yeah. meet at the end. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was real, real sloppy for the first team. You know, Derek Carr even seemed a little frustrated at some point, telling teammates they have to be better than that. But, you know, it was, for whatever disappointment was there, that the second and third units, particularly that Jake Hayner throw with the third team, uh, really impressive. Yeah, Jake Hayner hitting Samson Nakua for a touchdown to close out the two-minute. Uh, and then both Jake Hayner and Spencer Rattler also hit the two-point conversion following that. Really impressive stuff from those guys. I thought the Saints' pass rush in the first team was really making life difficult on the first team. Uh, Chase Young, Carl Granderson both getting after Derek Carr. Uh, tough day for them, but we've seen a lot of good days from them. I don't think it's anything to be overly worried about. All right, preseason game is on Saturday, so we will be off tomorrow traveling to Phoenix. We will have all the updates for you over at NOLA.com. Check those out. We'll see if maybe there's a Justin Simmons bit of news coming out. We don't know. Uh, he left from uh, from Southern California this morning, according to Dennis Allen. No deal yet, but maybe something soon. So keep it locked with us over there at NOLA.com, and we will see you all later.